The Bauer Connect skates are easily the most intriguing piece of equipment that I have ever owned in my lifetime. And whether you own them or you're looking to buy them, you probably feel the same way. I've had mine for six months. This is my honest review of them. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Let's begin. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So this is going to be an updated review of my Bauer Connect skates. If you want to see my initial impressions after one month of use, you can check that video right here. There's a link in the video description. But today I want to focus on how I feel about six months of owning them from performance to my biggest question and probably yours as well. Durability, do they last? Well, let's start off with the technology first. If you don't know what Bauer Connect is, it's essentially a ski boot that strips away traditional skate lace design and that traditional look. It's significantly heavier than traditional goal skates, but it's supposed to improve your range of motion, help with ankle flexion. But as I discovered in my initial impressions review, less durability, and here is why. So these clips right here on the boot are meant to replace those laces. There's two buckles on each skate. Now this technology gives you a tight fit that feels loose. And what I mean by that is I do the buckles at the top at three notches and I do the buckles at the bottom them at three notches as well and I found this has worked perfectly for giving me the most mobility and comfort at the same time. So in my initial review I was very very clear that I was not going to be selling my custom ultrasonic skates. Will I sell my ultrasonic skates? Absolutely not. I honestly do not feel confident enough to sell my ultrasonic skates because I do not believe my Connect skates will last the full season in Detroit and nor did I believe that the Bauer warranty department would back these skates. Well almost exactly like clockwork I ended up getting my first North American opportunity this season in Watertown after line brawl. Hadn't gotten a start in the season yet but all of a sudden I was thrown into the game and a few minutes into this night, the bottom buckle on my Connect skates ends up exploding in the middle of a post transition right here at this clip that you're going to see on the screen here. Now keep in mind that there's only two clips on the whole skate. So think of cutting half your laces out of your skate and no matter what you do, you're screwed. So for the next minute or two, I had to do without a buckle. I ended up calling the ref, telling him to blow the whistle. Travis Ridgen looks like an equipment issue down there in the goal for the Motor City Rockers. Now right here, a lot of people thought I was stalling to give the team a little bit of a rest. However, my Bauer Connect skates did break and I've been talking about this for a little bit the bottom buckle in the skates literally broke mid game i was on a post transition and i literally felt like i went from having my skate on to not wearing a skate at all. We go to a TV media timeout, and luckily the world's best equipment trainer, Seth, here in Motor City, was able to make some quick work, bang the buckle back in, and make it to at least last of the intermission, where we can make some full-time changes, where our trainer and our head coach were literally taking a hammer to my skates to get this buckle back in, a little bit of elbow grease later, and we were all good to go. But as you can imagine, I wasn't stoked about my $1,000 skates doing this at quite arguably the most important moment of my career to this point in time. Luckily, we would end up winning the game, and I had a feeling something like this was going to happen probably about a week before. So I had already emailed Bauer Warranty, they'd sent me a clip that was already in the mail, and I would have it in my hands when we got back from this road trip, which, if I'm being honest, was perfect timing. And since then, I have not had any durability issues at all. Performance-wise, I still feel the exact same that I did after one month of usage. I will continue to use these skates because they have relieved what I feel like is a piano of strain off my hips, my knees, my ankles during all my movements. They've made my reverse hinging 10 times easier, and the custom fit-wise, you'd think that it's not going to be as good as a custom old skate, but it's a very close second place. I would say my custom skates in Connect are 1A, 1B. Again, Connect is not a custom skate, but it's pretty damn close. Now, I said this before that I would not sell my custom ultrasonic skates in case something happened, but if you follow my life in the Fed vlog, you would know that I just ended up getting season ending hip surgery, so I'm not going to be skating for a little bit. So I decided to list my custom ultrasonic skates on Silent Swap because I've gotten a few more buckles in my arsenal, so I should be able to have these skates last a while even if the buckles continue to break, and hopefully the rest of the skate will last me until spring of 2024 when Connect 2 launches and I'll be able to get into a more durable version of the current skate. Now, let's talk cost for a second because I think this is very worth mentioning because I was hooked up with Bauer employee pricing which ended up costing me about 650 Canadian for my set of skates and I mention this because I want to be completely upfront about my experience and be honest as I am in all my reviews and I probably would not have bought these skates if they were the thousand dollar retail price if I had to pay full price I figured that with the heavily discounted price it was worth a try see if they can make a difference in my game physically and performance wise and see if they were all hype or if they were the real deal in worst case I would end up selling them and not taking a huge loss but Man, am I happy that I did because they were worth every penny of that 650 and I would happily spend another thousand dollars on a set if I did not own them today. Now, again, I want to remind everybody that I do not control employee pricing at Bauer. Bauer has employees that are nice enough to hook me up. This isn't a sponsor. This isn't a Bauer deal. It's just people that work at Bauer that said, hey, Trav, here's some discount codes. Use them as you please. Please don't sandbag us. So if you want the same pricing, you have to message Bauer goalie. Do not message me. I have zero control over this. I'm just saying because I'm going to get 500 messages on Instagram about this after this video goes up. I don't control the employee pricing. Speaking of things I get asked about all the time, I get asked about a cowling 
all the time. And if you're too young to know exactly what a cowling is, it's this white piece on the bottom of my skate. All the other pros that I've talked to have told me that Connect was too heavy, unbalanced, clunky, not durable, and just a terrible feel. Now, that may be true for some of them, but I think that the cowling, because of its neutral pitch, that is what has allowed me to take advantage of the hinge flex on the Connect skate and ultimately give me the ability to decide whether I want to hinge my weight forward or back when I'm skating because two-piece skates are pitched extremely forward. So when you add the hinging forward flex of Connect, you're putting everything forward with almost no real ability to change so that your weight can come backwards. And to be honest, all that was considered, I can understand why guys hate that. I also think that the cowling is best for RVH integrations because the toe cap fits and transitions beautifully off the post. I also love the all white look on white ice. I think aesthetically it provides great style. You could argue that, okay, maybe I have less attack angle and my pushes can't get as deep as people without a cowling, but that's exactly why I've shaved the entire inside of my skates so that I have the exact same attack angle when I push. All these reasons are why I continue to use the cowling on my Connect skates and not the Bauer edge holder. So let's talk about an overall verdict now. And are the Connect skates worth it? Well, first word from today's video sponsor, NordVPN. Anytime I go online, I use NordVPN because nowadays all websites are trying to track you, collect your personal information, and I don't like that. So I turn my NordVPN on to hide my IP address, keep my information encrypted, and I turn on their threat protection to keep cyber threats at bay. It's all the best way to stream my favorite sporting events for free. I pick my favorite streaming site of choice and I use NordVPN because it keeps me protected from those websites so I can relax and watch the game worry-free without being tracked. And that is the way that it should be. And right now, Nord is currently having their birthday sale special. So every purchase of a two-year plan will receive additional subscription time for free when you tap the first link in the video description at nordvpn.com slash try for Oilers. And that will get you the best, most up-to-date pricing that Nord has to offer. And it is risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. You gotta try NordVPN. And I wanna say thank you so much to Nord for sponsoring this video. Now, Connect is a great skate. I appreciate the technology and it has been game-changing for me and for my game. And I really think that I'm gonna be able to truly take advantage of its full capabilities when I return to skating after my surgery that I got in January. But I don't think it's for everybody, hence why so few pros are actually using them. And yes, Instagram influencers are all over it saying it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Keep in mind that they are all paid off, but I generally enjoy my Connect skates. And if the buckles break, and if you're a paying user like me, you can just simply email the Bauer warranty department and they should be able to get you a new set of buckles if they do break. Again, you can find that information on the Bauer website. And I'm gonna be honest, I do have a very unique taste in my gear, but I will continue to use them and I'm just gonna hope that they're gonna to last to the launch of Connect 2. And whenever that comes out, I can guarantee you that I'll be buying a set. So you should definitely subscribe so you don't miss those reviews as well as following my journey into and throughout my pro hockey season in this upcoming year. I do new videos every Sunday. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video and the next review. I'll see you then.